Well, there's another great tool in our great Aussie shed. We've got a great Aussie tool in our front yard right now. Chris Franklin is warming up the party. Let's join him. Oh, good to be here today, guys. I've just finished a six-month national tour with Steady Eddie, so it's bloody good to be anywhere at the moment. Oh, 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 great laugh. Good on you. <laughs> Fuck, I know. They're hard work, aren't they? I love drinking. That's why I love this job. People say, what do you do for a living? I say, I go to a pub, I drink piss and I talk to people. They go, oh shit, we do that after work. <laughs> <laughs> drinking made me single. <laughs> These girls are going, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I went to the AFL Grand Final last September and, and when I got home last Wednesday, she was packing her bags. It was, it's about three o'clock in the morning last Wednesday morning. I've staggered up the footpath and tried to unlock the front door with the hot chips I had under my arm. This, this voice had just come at me from the other side of the door and said, piss off. I said, oh, I can't, Dale. Just been to the footy. She said, no, piss off. You're a drunk, you're a no-hope, you're unemployed. I don't even like it. Just piss right off. I said, oh, but Dale... She said, I'm not going to let you in. I said, if you don't let me in, I'm going to embarrass you in front of all the neighbours. She said, well, give it your best shot then. So at 3 o'clock in the morning last Wednesday morning, I staggered out to the middle of the road and in my best drunken singing voice, I've gone, I had sex with you before we were married. I had sex with you before we were married. I had sex with you before we were married. So she stuck it out the window and said, and so did ten of your mates. <laughs> Chris Franklin, everybody, we're a legend! Yeah. 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 We're 100 episodes yeah. in yeah. and we've had some awesome tattoos, not to mention yours. Check that out. Tell us a bit about that. Day That's uh, Bon Scott tattoo. You've got to have one of them if you're an ACDC fan. It says, in memory of Bon Scott, 1946 to 1980. Got it done the day he died. Awesome. Underage. Right, next is the best tattoo we've ever seen on the show. You're going to respect this. OK. <laughs> G'day guys, it's Chris Franklin here. Welcome to On The Door. Tonight we're on the door at a screaming Jets gig. Okay guys, I've managed to find my way backstage and the screaming Jets are just behind the door behind us. So let's go and see what they're up to. Oh, fucking hell. I've just started. <laughs> <laughs> you pricks. <laughs> They got me. OK, guys, I've managed to sneak backstage. The Screaming Jets are just behind that door there. Let's go and see what they're up to. Uh, Dave Gleeson, how you going? Good, mate. How you going? I'm going well. That's good. That's good. So um, what do you normally get up to before a gig? A um, bit of uh, practising tantric sex. Uh, we talk about Brokeback Mountain a lot. Um, but we call it Broke Backstage back here. <laughs> I saw that film. I know how he broke his back. <laughs> It's gonna be a funny race. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me the shit bike too. Kind of like the mullet challenges, man. Pretty competitive these place well, boys. I tell you. Well, I'd like you to have this one.
podium in the Pizek class. Of course, Ado looked all money for winning it, but he jumped the start, he cut the track. We had the black flagging and rip him off physically. Oh, that's racing. Right oh, yeah. oh, up here. <laughs> hey, he won it and went to the bottle shop. 